Well, the sun is shining, the temperatures are warming up. Before long, it's going to be boating season. Yeah, and today our Ronnie Dahl went fishing for a new vessel. She found not one, but two on Detroit's east side, and that's where we find Ronnie tonight. Ronnie. I'll tell you what, all the boats I come across in Detroit, one day I just have to get lucky enough to find one that is seaworthy. But so far, they've all pretty much looked exactly like this. Junk, no doubt abandoned by their owners. There is no water around and no recent report of a hurricane slamming into the Motor City. But two boats still ended up shipwrecked on the city's east side. One boat landed in a vacant lot, the other on the side of Celestine Street. How long have those boats been there? Oh my God, that boat behind you, been there so long, I, I thought it was going to get up and walk by itself. This one, been there ever since last year. How they got here and who they belong to may never be known. The MC registration numbers are too old for the Secretary of State to trace. Illegal dumping is a chronic problem in this neighborhood. But they just come and just dump it out. They don't, they don't care. But this is your neighborhood. I know, and I love my neighborhood. I wish they stopped dumping. It was the same area where Action News exposed houses filled top to bottom with illegally dumped tires last year. The tires were cleaned up and the houses torn down, but the dumpers haven't stopped their dirty deeds, and they've been too hard for neighbors to catch. You really can't, you know, just run up on somebody and take a license plate number or anything, because they're going to see you, you know? So you can't do it. I don't know how you're going to do it. I'll do it. Good. I know you will. <laughs> you be on the ball. <laughs> and I'm glad, too. I am so glad. Maybe we can get these boats moved out. And that would be nice since the Secretary of State's office can't help me out. Maybe you can. Do you recognize these boats? Maybe know who the owner is. If so, give me a call. I'd like to return them. Also, keep in mind the city of Detroit has set up a tip line as well as an email to report illegal dumping. And we'll put that information on our website, WXYZ.com, because we all need to stand together and stop this. Let's catch the people doing it so they can be fined because Detroit... Folks, the city is not a trash can. For now, we're live on the city's east side. Back to you. Yeah, that's for sure, Ronnie. Well said, Good Ronnie. Work. Thank you. Thanks.